Sorry, John. What a game. Where would you start? How long have we got? Uh, well, we've got a few minutes as long as this my, uh, my FC video guy allows us, I guess. Um, yeah, we just went in the changing room, and, I, and I, for the, this doesn't happen often in a football changing room. But I was speechless. I didn't really know where to start. I didn't know whether to have, be happy or frustrated with what summer we saw. What we saw this afternoon. Uh, I have to be happy. It's, we're in a results business, and we've won three two. You know, we've lost points late on in games recently. Um, so to to get those two extra points is massive for us. So. I might not look it, but I am happy. Um, it's, a, it's a massive win for us. Um, should it have been a lot more comfortable? It should have been. If you look at the first half, um, scored after five minutes. Um, we counted six good chances in the first 15 minutes, um, and they didn't have a, a, a chance in the first half an hour. And, and we were we were dominant. We started really well. I thought we played some great football. We created chances. Everything you want not from the team. Apart from, no, we've said it before. Not clinical in front of the goal. Two or three of those six were really good chances, and, and, and if you put them away, the game's over. And we didn't. Um, and then what you allow to happen is anything can happen at the other end. And, and you know, the linesman, in our view, made a, a mistake of the throw. They win a corner, and they score an own goal off the corner. And all of a sudden, we're one all, having had seven or eight chances, and they've not had a shot on goal, and we're one all. And, and, and it and it gives their, you know, gives you, gives, it, puts your heads down a little bit. It changes them a massive lift. Just like if we'd have gone two up in ten minutes, like we should have done. The game would have changed. It would have, would have been a lot easier for us. Um, all of a sudden, they grew in belief. I mean, they're a good side. We know they're a good side. They've got some good players, and they just grew in belief when they got back to one all. Um, so, what messages did you then give them? We just said we needed to start the second half like we did the first. Start on the front foot, uh, pass the ball well, create chances. Um, it didn't quite happen as as we wanted to. Start of the half. I mean the. The second goal for them is, is is a pure luck to be honest. We've headed it against the back of their lad's head and it's put their centre forward straight in and, and you start to think it's not your day. Um, then get a penalty. It away well, then we get a penalty and then we miss it again. Was that a penalty? That first one? Uh, I can't even remember it. Um, hard to tell. I, I honestly I honestly couldn't tell. I mean um, I think it might have been Brad that went down in the box. Um, I guess there was hands on him. Really hard to tell. Um, We've missed it. We've missed, we missed far too many penalties. Uh, we changed the penalty taker around, um, and we miss. We still miss far too many penalties. I don't know what it is, but we keep doing it. And, uh, so obviously two one down. Two one you know, down. Frustrated. You, you changed it up. Then. Yeah, we changed the shape. Uh, we went with a diamond today. Um, we played it Tuesday. We, 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 we generally play well when we play it. But we've got very good wide players, and we generally, for that reason, we don't play it. But Dobbo's. Had a bit of a thigh injury since one of the Christmas games. He picked it up, and and he's not 100%. And we just made the decision to go with the diamond today. Um, I mean, we heard things at half-time. People saying we should be playing with wingers, and you know, if we'd have, if we'd have finished in front of goal, we'd have been three up in 10 minutes, and no one would have been saying it then. So, you know, we expect that. You get those comments, but um, we yeah, we had to do something different, and we so did. Made we a brought, couple of changes. Yeah, we brought Warren and Dobbo on. Went to a 4-4-2. Um, Manny and Webby come off, they've done nothing wrong, but we had to try a different shape, get more balls into the box. Uh, obviously Dobbo got on the end of Ben Harris's pass, tucked it away brilliantly, so made a, a quick impact. Um, and then the game was open, you know, they had, they had some half chances. I wasn't happy with how we defended at times second half. I think we, we um, caused problems for ourselves and, and, um, and we continued to create, not loads of chances, but we continued to create chances that we didn't take. Um, Thought, thought it wasn't going to happen. To and, be and, then, and then, what's your view on the end? Obviously, highly controversial. There's, you know, Merth are going nuts. You know, obviously, I'm guessing yeah. that you agree with what the referee view well, well, it was. You know. Yeah, I mean, the ball went up in the air. Keeper's got to take up the line. Brad's got his his body in there. He's not fouled the keeper. No way um, for me. Um, and the keeper's dropped it in front of Brad. Um, and then, as the keeper's gone to retrieve it, he did put his hands on Brad. Um, Maybe a little bit soft. If it was given against us, yeah, probably. It's one of those. I think if it's if it's given against you, you argue it, and, and if it's not, if it's given for you, you say it's a penalty. I'd like to see it again. I mean, it makes no odds. Obviously, it makes no difference. But I think he put his hands on him, and if you do that, you do run the risk of giving a penalty. Uh, to be fair, I think the lines were trying to give them a free kick, and the ref overruled him. So there was all sorts going on. Uh, it was crazy. Then of course we missed the penalty. He scored the rebound. So. Um, and, crazy, and what is it with Murphy, game. you know? I don't know. They must be sick of us. I don't know. Um, yeah, great club. 
getting on very well with the manager, some good players, and, and um, yeah, feel a little bit, in a way, feel sorry for them. But we say so we've got to think about ourselves, and, and we're obviously delighted to get. Yeah, the and points. the main thing is, as you say, not the performance, but the three points that then hopefully allows you to kick on Tuesday night, Kings Langdon. Yeah, we wanted six from these two, so obviously we give ourselves a chance of getting that. Um, we need to play. So many to play better. If we play like we did first 25 minutes, but the more ruthless, we'll be fine. Uh, we need, there's a few bits we need to cut out, which we'll, um, we'll talk to the boys about. And we just need to, so we need to take our chances. We've scored three more goals, so we keep scoring goals, but we just need to make life a little bit easier for us. And in terms of any other news ahead of Tuesday, any injuries, anyone missing because of work? We've got a couple away during the week. Floody and Guy are both away, so um, yeah, we'll we'll lose those. Uh, we've obviously got people we can bring back into the squad. So a bit of rotation. Yeah, we were all we had a plan for this game and a plan for Tuesday. Uh, I don't think that will change an awful lot. We'll see how one or two knocks are. I uh, saw so, uh, Ben Harris picked up a knock. We'll see how he is. But um, yeah, we will we will change things a little bit. Um, and it's a completely different, completely different game, different night. We generally do excuse me do well here under the lights on a Tuesday, um, and we need to continue that. Excellent. Thanks ever so much for your time. Enjoy those three points, as I'm sure you will, and uh, go and have a lie down. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks. John.